YouTube. We are going on an adventure. We're gonna be fossil hunting today, guys. I've been trying to get to this spot for like, I don't know, I'd say a good 10 years. Ever since I heard about uh, megalodon teeth and all this stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna find any megalodon teeth today, probably not. Um, we're looking for fossilized shark teeth, uh, some crustaceans and stuff like that um, from a couple million years ago. So this has a huge deposit to the point where anyone that comes here pretty much finds fossils. And if you know where to look, you can find more of them. So I just happen to have an idea. So I'm going to go and uh, find some fossils. And Jen's with me. Say hi, Jen. She's back there. I gotta slow down for her. Hold on, let me let her let her catch up. I'm always so quick and I forget, you know? But uh, we're, it's a very short walk from the parking area to the area where you're gonna find your fossils. There's a spot down here we're gonna check first. Just cause there's a path that looks like the easiest spot. So it's probably the most high traffic spot. But there is plenty of uh, green wildlife here. All right, so here we go. This is going to be one of the areas here. Um, it looks like someone was here recently. Not too recently, but definitely today. I wonder if that's the side. You got to read the land here. See the ground? See where it's layered over there? That's original. Hasn't been washed out yet. We're looking for the stuff that's like kind of washed out. And then we're going to follow it back into the layer that uh, the fossils are sitting in. So I'm going to go down here real quick. Jen, stay up there because it's kind of muddy. I don't think this is where we're going to go. But I just want to get an idea what's in the water here. Let's see. I'm going to tell you guys if I see anything off the bat, uh, there's going to be a lot of different stuff down here. Like this. What is that? That is definitely a fossil. Look at that, two seconds down here, guys. Two seconds in this spot that we're not gonna sit in. So if that's here, uh, there's some more. Huh? Bry, what's up, man? Here's another one, guys. I, I literally walked like three steps down here, babe, and found a couple already. I don't think this is the spot where we're going to have our most luck. Wow, there is a gravel wash over here, though. That's probably loaded. And it did just kind of rain, so it washed the dust off of a lot of this stuff, which would make it harder to find. Um, but like I said, this is probably not the area that we're going to be hitting. Even though I'm seeing more, there's actually more in the water right here. And I do have my waterproof boots on. So why don't we just take a little, there's one right here. Um, another one right here. I don't know if that's a fossil. I'm gonna keep it anyway, it was here. All right, so there's gonna be shark teeth, guys. That's really what I'm looking for. I'm really looking for the shark teeth and they're kind of hard to find uh, with the naked eye, the way I'm looking for them, so. Uh, it'd be really cool to find some ammonites and stuff like that, but I don't know if they're in this spot. Anything's a possibility. I just walked over like six fossils. These aren't the ones I'm looking for, but I do have a handful already. So I'm going to toss that one. I'm going to keep the better pieces or else I'm going to end up with like a whole ton, whoa, a whole ton of these things. All right, sweet. You ready to find another spot? I just want to see where everybody went right off the bat, but here, if you want to check them out, check out those ones. Pretty neat. What's up, guys? Sorry, I haven't looked at the screen one time since I started this live. I'm just too geeked out about uh, trying to find fossils because I'm a weird guy, Ace. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I brought a backpack with me so we can actually have some stuff with us. I brought some digging equipment. I brought a uh, shovel, you know, a screwdriver to pick out some small stuff 
that's still stuck, whatever, dig around it. I don't like messing up pieces, so if we can keep things intact, it'd be great. So that was a short walk to that first spot, but uh, I don't like doing anything the easy way. Hold on, got to wait for Jen. Ooh, there's a hawk, babe. You hear? Cool. Anyway, I don't like doing anything the easy way, guys. You know that. So I'm going to end up walking further down because you know at the end of the longer trail is always the best stuff. You know, the shortcuts aren't always the answer. You want to try this one then? Yeah. All right. We're going to try this shortcut for Jen because that's a long way over there. We're trying to keep the walking to a minimum. With all this driving, Jen's back is smoked. So, what are you, bird? There's a bird right here to your right, honey. Watch out for snakes, too, okay? Right. Keep an eye out. I know. I used to hide, too. Even. I'm just saying, I, you know, rattlers out right now. All right, this looks like our spot. Rattlers. Rattlers. See that whole bench right there? That's the bench that I want to see. That whole line. Well, you go over there. No, stay here. I don't know about getting over there. Yeah. Well, you can climb that but tree. But that whole spot over there, I like. Look, all you got to do is climb the tree to get to the other side. You think I can make it? I don't know. You better hope you can. I won't be. Try it here. Over here. here, let me help you off this one. You get down there. There you go. My body will block you from the hill. And then I can... Uh, what I could do is I could just go get a whole shitload of the gravel and bring it up here on the bank so that way you can look through it, you know? So that way you don't have to get down in there with us. Well, there's something over there. What the hell is that? All right, well, let me set you guys up. Huh? Are they little bees? It's like a little micro species of bees. That's cool. I'm sure they're harmless. They just want their little uh, pollen, you know, gathering it for the queen. Got to keep her happy. All right, so where do we set up here? I think I'm going to set up right down here. All right, there's some gravel on this edge. I, I should have brought some kind of sifter. This isn't going to work out very good unless I got a sifter. You guys hang out there for a second. Uh-oh, what happened? They're looking at wood. Hey, guys. Hey, Jerry, Stephanie, Ren, Brian, and Beth. Ah, uh, our boy Brian's in the room? Yeah, he's right there. He said, hey, buddies, I'm jealous right now. And then he said, aren't we all weird, guys? You know, that's what makes this great a great group. It's because we all have some kind of weird little thing. Hey, sure kick the can. Hey. All right. No, no panning for gold. No panning. I this wish is, I had a pan. I should have brought a sifter because this is going to be a little harder without a sifter for the shark teeth especially. But I do have a sharp eye, so I'm hoping I could just clean this up pretty good. Maybe I can make like a bushcraft sifter out of some grass or something i'm not doing anything i'm just sitting here jen's just chilling i'm gonna do all the work so i'm gonna go bring her a bunch of gravel that she can look through on the bench here and honey i think nope i didn't bring it i love the pan for gold it is a nice spot right chopel we find them it took me a long time to get to this spot. And it's so not, not too gonna waste time. And it's not a far walk either, so I don't have to be carried or hold in a wagon. I can actually walk in because it's not that far in. So that's good too. Yeah, this was a cert walk. So if you guys are interested in coming here, um, I did have the link of the address. I'll post that. It is peaceful. I'll post that after the video. Uh, I do have the address for this place, but 
I brought my umbrella because uh, I think we're going to get rain at some point. Yeah, we're supposed to get a little shower. I'm not it anymore, so I don't know. Got our foldable shovel. <laughs> little um, e-tool, if you will. Next time you guys come around this way, we should go camp on the Cape Fear River. I'm down. That's cool, Brian. Brian, I love all that stuff, dude. We're going to hit trail days. Guys, if you did, if you missed it last year, we went to trail days in Virginia. It's the kickoff to the uh, the hiking season for the Appalachian Trail. And uh, we hit that last year, and Brian wants to go this year. And I figure what's a cool way to hang out with your buddy is to go to uh, trail days. Did you get the smokes out of the car? It's in August. Yeah, we got a little time. But we're going to do some stuff all year. You guys are going to see some really cool spots. Sorry. Oh, you're dropping my fossils. So. Can you put these in the bag? Here's one of them. Yes. Yeah, no, I have your other one. Ten four. Here, let's show them these ones. So this is another one I found already. i got to figure out what they are. There's some kind of, you know, uh, coral or something like that. This one right here. Uh, there's cone-shaped... I forgot what they're called. i got to look them up. Yeah, Brian, I don't see a reason why we wouldn't be able to go there. We're going to identify all these later, okay? But this is uh, some kind of clam or crustacean or something. But I'm going to find a whole bunch more. That was the first spot. And to be honest with you, this is like a nice tributary to where a lot of stuff's getting washed out into the, the bank here. So I'm interested on where all this gravel's coming from because I want to go to that source. Yeah, Brian, find out when it is. Like, see if you can find out when it is and oh, let me know. I forgot I was wearing this. And I'll say, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll check it out. So, you, so we can make the plans, because I know you want to make plans. Yo, and I'm going to do a shameless plug for my boy, because he needs your help right now, guys. My man, Buffalo Man 11. Right here, Buffalo Man 11. Find him on YouTube. Help him out. He needs legal fees. You didn't show the back. I figured they're going to see enough of the back. The back. Buffalo Man, subscribe. Go like, share, and subscribe. Hit that sub button for freedom. All right. And guys, don't forget to like this. Don't forget to like, uh, hit the like button, yeah. yeah can, Jen can't speak today. One of those. It's a cool, well, I can see it's all coming out of that gray mud from across from me. Yeah. Yeah. We got, we got to get one of those panning things. A sifter? Sifter, that's what it's called. That's what I was just guessing about. Yeah, we need to get one of those. Uh, absolutely need one of those. Oh, got one. Two. Two boxes. Some more coral stuff. Hi, Gary. Gary. Yeah, no, we're not by the beach anymore. By the beach, boy. We will, uh, we're making our way home. We'll be there tomorrow, probably. All right, so I'm going to throw all my fossil finds up here. I'm going to come bring you a pile of crap. How's that sound? A pile of what? A pile of crap. A pile of rocks to look good. Yeah, put them behind me. Because that's uh, the only spot I can really get to. Never find the heavy. So I'm giving Jen a shovel full of stuff. So she can look through it. It's gonna be much harder for you because you don't have anything wet to wash it off. Yeah. I didn't know it was in, wow. I didn't know it was in May. What? 
trail days. Oh, is it? May 19th. Oh, shit. It's a weekend. You like that? It was in August last year, wasn't it? No. Was it really in May? I think so. Wow, I didn't know that. All right. So, I got to reconfigure this whole setup here. Because that's going to be hard for Jen, so. Look, can you get to this spot? No. Okay. But this is fine. Okay. I don't know. It's not about, it's not about that. It's if we can afford it. Yeah. <laughs> that's really what it comes down to. That would have to be to go all the way to the back down there. Up there. To... Let's see what we can do when we get back up to the house. We'll have to think about it when we get back to the house and see what we can do about that. I don't know. Unfortunately, May is a busy month for us. Hey, was that a rock or a tooth? Um, put it to the side. That's probably a rock. It just looks like a tooth. Chilpil says she has work for you at her place. Where are you again, Shelfell? I'm sorry. It's hard to keep track of everybody. So I'm looking in like a whole bunch of non-exposed stuff. I was trying to wash away the dirt. Yeah, I think you're uh, gonna have to do this because I can't see anything because it's dirty. Yeah. And I don't have water up here. I know. I'll hook you up. Oh, that's right. Okay. I thought so, but I wasn't sure. I thought I met you. Yeah. Not too long ago. It's always the weekend after Mother's Day. All right. We got we got to figure it out and we'll see what we can do. Oh uh, yeah, no, I remember you now. You had the cool car. Yeah. Okay, I'm finding like little shards and stuff. I'm gonna take them down here in a second, so you just gotta like sift through this sand. You hate that car. <laughs> you drive a truck. Well, I. I thought it was a pretty good, nice looking car. But yeah, I get you.
some more. And someone just pulled in. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Is that the camper right there? I don't know. I was trying to so. figure that out. There's some more. I think we found one. Where'd the little guy go? That just hit us. This one? No, it's a little. There's one in there. Well, I'm going to take them down with me. Okay. And uh, I want to go explore. So, let's we'll see if we can do this without getting wet, guys. Ugh. Over the log, not into the river. There we go. I'm going this way. Not going to be able to hear you, babe. A deer comes down here to drink. That's cool. And a raccoon. All right, see this little creek? I love that creek. See why? It's already done half the work for me. It just keeps washing the gravel. That's what I'm trying to do. So there's another gravel bed over here. It's a lot of galena in the water. walk right through all right fossil spot this is my good spot i think right here let's see let's see if we can keep it not wet all right there's a lot of stuff here All right, let's see what we could find. Got this little spot, nice little gravel bar here. Um, where stuff got deposited. So I'm just gonna clip through it real quick and see what we could find. I'm really ultimately looking for shark teeth. But there's gonna be a lot of different fossils in here, like this guy. It's like some kind of coral or something. But that's what that looks like. I'm trying to find anything and everything. That looks like a piece of galena. That's all on the clay. That's the clay that this is all sitting in. I need to find these big clay balls and I'll find the big stuff. I'm gonna try to let the water do the sifting for me by just moving my hand across the top slightly. That. See, I don't know, man. Some of this stuff is kind of sketch. I don't know if it is. I'm gonna hang on to it for a minute. I'd really like to get across the river here. I don't know. I think I found more stuff on the other spot. Or I'm going through the tailings of somebody else. That's another good possibility. I might be going through the stuff that somebody else went through. Hmm. I gotta start thinking outside the box here. Let's see. Got to be a shark tooth in here somewhere. Ooh, ooh. Damn, I found a piece of a shark tooth. Shit, hold on. We're getting closer, guys. Look, that right there. Can you see it? Where is it? Focus. This right there is a piece of a shark tooth. It's not a full shark tooth, but we are getting closer. We're getting closer. See, I don't have the means to do this properly because I don't have a, a sifter. I probably could fabricate one somehow. Just haven't thought about it yet. 
So I'm going to put the good fossils in my one pocket. And we're going to keep looking in this little pit here. This is where I had my luck now. You got to know what colors to look for. That's a fossil. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know what half of this stuff is. Gastropods. There's a lot of different stuff. Uh, I'd have to educate myself further on what I find later. But that's the whole idea. Alright, I'm going to have to bring Jen a bunch of these in a minute. Maybe she can look them up. Alright, give me the shark teeth. That's some kind of fossilized clam. Oh, oh. I feel like we're up that alley though. I'm in that range, guys, where I could find it. I'm probably gonna find like snaggle teeth, like a snaggle tooth shark. This reality, it's a real thing. I'm just stepping right in the water like a fool. Hold on. Put that to the side. Collect all these guys for Jen to look through. Here. That's not it. There's that hard clay I was talking about breaking up. Not in that one. That's again some kind of fossil. I'll put that to the side. Alright, so we're looking for fossils, guys. I just found a piece of a tooth. So I know they're in here. And I just re-educated myself on the colors that I'm looking for, so I'm now trained on looking those colors up here. We're going to freak out when we find our first shirt, even though they're pretty common to find. Still gonna do it. It's a little bit. We found one. It's right here. I'm hoping to beat the storm. I don't want to be out here when it starts lightning and thundering. I have to run under Jen's umbrella. Not really. I'll probably just sit out here. This is something here. Not sure what it is. It's definitely a fossil, but that's a keeper. There's some cool stuff that, you know, I still have to identify later on. But like this one, this is a fossil here. And I'm not sure exactly what they all are, like I said. But that's what we're going to get into is uh, identifying them and stuff like that. That's a, that's half of the fun is trying to figure out what you found, you know? You do some research, you find out that there's so much more that you found than you thought you found. Like that. I'm feeling like that is some kind of fossil. I don't know why. It's giving me that fossily feeling. <laughs> it's just odd rocks. They're not natural, you know? They have a shape that's not natural in uh, rocks at, at anything. Nope. This is a nice gravel bed, though. There is stuff in here. I'm not looking as hard as I should, probably. But then again, I feel like this is the tailings from somebody else who's already sifted. This is what this feels like, is like a, a tailings pile. That's definitely a fossil. Hold on. Uh... All right, I'm hoping to find some good stuff so I can show you the good stuff. Like this, like, you know, that little shard, that's a, that's something. <laughs> Not sure what, but let's see. It's going to be all ocean fossils, too. Hey, babe. That's weird. I don't know what that is, but it's definitely not natural, you know? So we're going to throw that in. How you doing? Huh? 
you're sitting there? I know that. We're looking for Sharky. That's a really cool piece right there. I need fossils. Come on, Jay. Where is the fossils, Jay? We came in here for fossils. Got a little guy. Little guy. Identify later. Kind of thing. Come on, fossils. Come on, shark teeth. That's something. So we'll get into this stuff later, try to figure out what it is. All right, I gotta start sitting on this log or something because my foot is in the water. It's surprisingly completely dry. Um, all right, this might be some petrified wood. I'm gonna throw that over there. All right, I got a better angle on the light too now so I can actually see into the water better. But there are stuff like this. I don't know. Goes in the pile. All right, so we got some more shell material. Like this stuff. Not sure what it is. It's something. Brachiopods or whatever the hell they are. I don't know. There's so much different stuff in here. I only know about a few things. See, like that? That's a shell. See the outline? Boom. So that's old. I'm going to throw that over there. There's some big pieces in here. Um, I just got to dig them out. There's another one. Another piece. I don't know what these things are. I'm going to try to use the lapidary saw and cut them open, though. See what they look like. That would be cool. See, I want the big, big stuff. Like, that's a little fossil. I'm not sure what that is. All right, we're getting into those. See some more? Not sure what those pieces are, but um, I know for a fact that they're fossils. It's probably stuff that usually gets discarded, but I save it all. You never know. Could have one of the only of something. My son and I have a pretty intensive uh, collection of gems, minerals, and fossils. There's a big guy here somewhere. What is that? Well, it's glass. That's what that was. Cool. It's always good when you pick up glass. Man, that rain's coming. There's another piece. Not sure what it is, but it's definitely old. It's definitely a fossil. This is too. I'm just, I don't know, man. There's so much stuff that I gotta, I can't be carrying back a backpack full of sea fossils. Oh my God, was that a tooth? Nope. Definitely some kind of shell or something, no? All right, I might need to bail on the sunglasses now if the sun went away. Thanks, sun. Another one. Another random fossil. Like a piece of shell or something. Listen, you got to go through all the junk to find the good stuff. That's how it works. Like, this is a good example of possibly a piece of uh, petrified wood. Or something I'm not sure man like I said this would be a good example of petrified wood though the shape of it um, I go by the shapes of a lot of stuff the flatness or the spikiness like there's different aspects of how something died and how it deteriorated you got to kind of use your imagination uh, some of the stuff I pick up might not be fossils that's okay I will go through all of those things later but I'm finding like you know just things that usually aren't natural in uh, 
in rivers and stuff. So this is my first time ever at this spot, so I'm just gonna pick it clean for what I can. But it's a uh, a spot that's locally known. Uh, everyone knows there's fossils here. It's not a secret. There's that like Galena mud. It has this sparkle to it, like the kind of material you'd find silver in. But I highly doubt there's silver here. Never know. Never know. Another good one. Good example of uh, that weird rock I keep finding. Really cool to pick a shark tooth out of here. To see it, like I said, with my naked eye is pretty hard through the water. I can see the bigger pieces pretty good. Oh, oh my God. I found a freaking shark tooth. Hold on. <laughs> I was just talking about this shit. All right, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you dig that? That's our first shark tooth. First shark tooth, and it's really a shark tooth. Hold on, I'll flip it over. And like I said, it's it's probably a snaggle tooth because of the angle of it. How do I know this? Because I found shark teeth before at uh, another fossil hunting spot in Maryland called Calvert Cliffs. But this is uh, this is what I do, man. I like this kind of stuff. This puts me at peace. I'm able to relax. This is a. Almost looks like a broken tooth, which I think it is. We're just gonna put that to the side. All right, I'm seeing the colors for what they are now. Those glasses, I think, were throwing me off. This stuff's popping right out at me now. Come on, shark tooth. The next one I find is gonna be a big one, I have a feeling. I have a feeling, big shark tooth coming up, come on Jay, where is it? I hope you guys are having fun, we're fossil hunting out here right now, I'm having fun, Jen is uh, relaxing over on the side, I did find a little piece of coral or something, it's very hard to distinguish in that light, that looks like a straight up real tooth. a body drop over here or something, you know? Alright, let's see. Who's that guy? He's definitely a fossil. We go in the fossil pile. I did find a nice little... Yeah, spiders. I don't think so. We don't mix. Me and you? Not happening. Not today, guy. More glass. We'll put that to the side and have to bring that out of the woods with us. Because somebody just couldn't. Give me the shark teeth. Where are the shark teeth? That's a fossil. Fossil, that's a fossil. Ugh. Jen, we're gonna start making fossil jewelry. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not making anything. Let's see. trying to like pick it up and let the water sift it out from underneath because it's a lot to try to sift this and look for this stuff at the same time in the water. Let's see. Just flipping it now. Flipping the mud. There's like so much stuff under the mud. A lot of tree debris. Fossil, fossil, fossils. What is this guy? You are a very strange rock. I feel like that is a fucking huge tooth. Excuse my language. I think that was a very big tooth at one point. And we're going to put that to the side. Because that would be amazing if the other part of that was in here. I just raked out some gravel and bam, that guy popped out. Again, I should have brought more stuff 
to help me out here. I didn't realize I'd be in the middle of the water, though. Ah. Come on, give me a nice tooth. Nice shark tooth. I should have brought a flashlight with me because the light went away with the uh, storm. So now I'm kind of looking in the dark here. Oh, it feels like it's the dark. Right, I'm going to make myself a nice sand bank to stand on here dig some of that other stuff from underneath out. Oh, this is a good idea. Here, let me do that. Check this method out. something could be in the pile you go expose yourself sharky where are you how dare you hide from me we gotta get Jen a nice shark tooth that we found here because that's my goal is find Jen a nice little treasure from our our hunt So you get like different kinds of shark teeth. There's like sand sharks and snaggletooth sharks. I swear to God, it's called snaggletooth shark. Um, a lot of different stuff that you'll find in fossil deposits. So the only other place like, place like this I know of is Calvert Cliffs. And they literally fall right out of the cliffs and onto the beach. And then they get washed around. So you kind of just pick them up. It's nice. But a sifter, man, would a sifter make a whole big difference right now. Because it's hard to tell in the water. The color changes it. I did find that one, though, so I know to keep digging. What a tiny tooth, too. Two, two, two. Um, let's see. Trying to wash away some of the sand so I can see this. I am so tempted to run back to the truck. Oh, there's a piece right here. Nice little fossil. I'm tempted to run back to the truck. All right. I'm going to move myself for a second here. I'm going to bring some of these to the gen, and I'm going to leave you guys... Yeah, I'll bring you with me so you can talk to her. But that's what I'm doing. So. Oh. I lost a few pieces. Hold on. Fossils down. Fossils down. All right, let me go get this to Jen. Jen. Oh, I got that giant traversing area here. Ugh. All right, so that's what I'm doing. Jen's going to go through these and show you some, maybe. Something like that. I don't know. Ugh. Hold up. All right. Here are some of those. You want to see the gem? You want to see the big surprise? Mm -hmm. The big unveiling here? Hold on. Oh, is that it? It's the smallest little thing ever. Hi, Millie. Oh, that's the broken one. Here's the broken one. That's it. That's the full one. 
Look how cute. They're so tiny, right? That's a shark tooth, babe. Is it really? And guess what? what? It's about to start raining. Oh, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to bunker down for a second here, guys. Under Jen's umbrella. I'm gonna turn into a how bad of it. Uh where's your umbrella? Yeah. It's in there. Okay. I gotta get my wet hands through this shirt. Can't go any faster here. I'll be alright in the rain. It's gen dry. Alright. Okay. Alright, here are the shark teeth, guys. Can you see? These are the shark teeth so far that I found. Hold on. Let's see. Can we get in there? Anyway, they're very small. This one on the right, I think, is a snaggle tooth. It faces backwards. Um, it could not, it, maybe not, but it's just the shape of it. How it's not a point. It's more of a an oblonged one. And then this guy here used to be big. And I could tell that by the size of the base of it. It was really thick at one point. So we're gonna I'm gonna go look for more of these. I'm gonna leave you here with Jen. Jen, if it gets too crazy, your best bet is to go here and put the umbrella like that over you and just just it gets too wet, you know? Because I don't think you need me, right? Yeah, these are going in here. Like that. Uh huh. Shark teeth. And then that whole thing is full of fossils over there. I don't know what they are. I don't have that. Uh, what is Alright, so. I don't know what that is. What that stuff is. If it rains too much, just hide them. Just take them off of this thing with this switch. See? Mm -hmm. And just hide them. I'm going to get wet, guys. Wish me luck. What a cool little spot, though, to chill, right? All right, I might just stay right here. This might be the spot right here. Let me see. I don't think so, Andrew. JJ, JJ doesn't wear speedos. In your dreams, buddy. <laughs> You're funny. Dixie says, no. Oh, come on. You guys know you want to see me in a Speedo. <laughs> You're about to get that rain, hon. No man needs a Speedo. You're right, Dixie. I agree. I'm not really up for guys in Speedos either. You come over here. There we go. I'm gonna hold you under the umbrella. There you go. <laughs> He's like, please no speedo. He's not wearing a speedo, guys. Don't worry about it. He's never once worn a, spe a speedo. Nope, I'm good. I like uh, room for my package to run around in his underwear. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too funny.
method is improving. I found a little piece of shell here. But yeah, without a system, it's kind of hard. What's that? All right, no rain yet. The umbrella, I put it down because I'm not going to sit here. Sit here and hold it for no reason. You didn't bring anything to put these in. What are you going to put this stuff in? Oh. Yeah. He's probably going to get his butt wet. No. <laughs> I have like an unconscious hover point. <laughs> I hover at a certain level. Imagine I pull a big ass negative on two That'd be cool. Shovel. Um, over here with all these things on it here. All right. Let me uh see these guys. These guys are cool. You want to put this stuff see in your them? in your backpack? I I mean I've got to pick through it because we're gonna I'm gonna find a lot. So I just want to pick through it and keep like probably the best specimens. Like these guys are in the top ranking here. These ones. Why? Because they're actually the piece of fossilized. It's crystallized, the fossil. So these guys are fossils, but they're not as prominent as fossils. Like you can tell because there's a weird <laughs> ring in it or something, you know? Or the way it's shaped. Mm -hmm. Like this could be petrified wood. Okay. So like, I just want to take some examples home. Some of them gonna be like agated in the middle and stuff, who knows? But uh, I figure we'll try it all out, you know? Right. Let's see here. But this creek, the whole creek is like covered. It's, uh, I'm going back to my shark's spot. Alrighty then. Phew. No rain. I thought, I thought when he came back to show me the shark teeth, I thought he was going to pull a jewel out of his pocket. 
Like a real jewel. I didn't know what he was talking about. I was like, you found a jewel? With a yellow polka dot top. The little teeny weeny polka dot bikini. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think the sun's coming out. I don't know what the hell's going on. I didn't see. We before we got here, we drove through a rain, like a little bit of a rainstorm. So I figured it was going to come eventually, and it is because it's got water on the phone. So it is going to start soon, I guess. I'd love to get down there and start digging through there, but I can't. Sucks. Ugh. So frustrating. Hey, Jen G. I knew I saw you in here before, I think. But then he took the camera away. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button. <sighs> it's like drizzling or something like every so often, but it's not really doing much of anything yet. I'm sure it's coming. Yeah, I, thought, I know I saw you when I first came on. I thought so. Yeah, Billy, it's been sunny and then rained. And then it's sunny again. Then it rained again. Then the black clouds move in like it's going to, you know, start raining again. I don't have a fishing pole. Hey, Troy. Yeah, I don't have a fishing pole. I mean, I have one at home in the in the storage unit, but I don't have it with me. I eat fish. I don't eat fish, so I'll fish and throw it back in. I uh, I catch and release. That's that's about as much as I fish. Fish is yummy in the tummy. <laughs> I do bulk catch and keep some and release them. I don't eat fish, so there's no point in me keeping it. So I throw it back. When I found my turtle, who was only about the size of a quarter, and I took him home. And now he's bigger. He's like, he got really big. 
He likes to bask a lot on his on his log. He lives with my mom now. But uh, I had I caught two baby catfish and I had them in there with him for a while, and they grew up. They're a big catfish, and they all got along. And uh, unfortunately, the catfish died. I don't even like tuna. I don't even like tuna salad. Turtle soup, Andrew. No way. You're not eating my turtle. Sheldon is not to eat. He doesn't like me anyway. He hisses at me all the time. He likes my stepfather better. When his stepfather comes over to the cage, he gets up there and puts his head up and stuff. I come by the cagey hides. I'm the one that freaking rescued you, you little brat. But he's a turtle. What are you going to do? Hey, Wendy. Oh, not my turtle. I still wouldn't eat turtle soup, though. I don't, I don't know. It just doesn't seem appetizing. When Sheldon was a baby turtle, he actually got caught in the rocks in the cage in the tank and he stopped breathing. So I thought he was dead. He was only like maybe that big. And uh, Jay gave him CPR and brought him back to life. I already had the box ready to go. I was going to bury him. All that. I had no idea. That he was still alive. Like that we could you could bring him back. <laughs> oh, there he is. See? That's how big he was when I got him. Look how tiny he is. That's my baby Sheldon. He's not a baby anymore though. He's a big turtle now. But he was just a baby. A ninja turtle. <laughs> Wendy, is it your birthday today? I didn't know it was your birthday. How come you didn't tell me that? Well, I just had the box ready because he wasn't breathing. And he was, like, lifeless, so I figured that was it, you know? But Jay flipped him over, started pumping on his little belly and his chest, and blew a couple breaths into me, started flopping around, came back to life. Wendy, happy birthday! When Jay comes back, we're going to have to sing for you. We're going to have to sing happy birthday for Wendy. Ew, turtle soup, gross. Ugh. Nasty. Hate turtle soup. Like, just the thought of it is gross. Hold on a minute. Probably going to get in trouble for this.
don't think that's an original song, so I don't think I should get in trouble for that. <laughs> that old possum? Gross. We cooked everything that didn't bark or meow, except for armadillos. Yeah, armadillos. I could see that. You're welcome, Wendy. I didn't know it was your birthday. You didn't tell me it was your birthday today. You know what's funny? Because I said to Jay yesterday, I said, I feel like somebody's birthday is on May 5th. I don't know who, but I just have this feeling that it's someone I know. And lo and behold, it's Wendy's birthday. Where is she? I don't see her. Darlisa? Darlisa, where are you? How come I'm not seeing the freaking thing? How come I'm not seeing it in the chat? What the hell is going on here? Now I gotta figure this out. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Dar Daralisa. Dar Dar I, I can say it sometimes, and then other times I screw it up. Let me see why I can't see it on here, though. I don't think a shark got him. Yeah? Let me say why I'm not seeing some of these chats here. What's going on? Let me on? say why I'm not seeing. Let me see here. See, now I see it on my phone, but I don't see it on Jay's phone. Dorellis, hello. Sorry about that. I didn't see you on the other phone for some reason. Anywho, I gotta put this up. Birthday. Boop. Of course it messed it up when I wanted to do something. Why wouldn't it? There we go. Where's Jay? He's over there somewhere looking for shark teeth. Oh man, my foot fell asleep. So let me rearrange myself here for a minute. I have to look at this phone and this phone. <sighs> the stupid ads. What is with these stupid ads? Would you stop it? I'm trying to do something. I'm being a pain in the ass. There we go. Good job. Good job, phone. All right. I thought I heard some people coming. My foot falls asleep all the time. I actually both my feet do. I get these tingling sensations all the time. Even if I'm not, even if I'm not sitting a certain way or whatever, I get tingling in my toes and my fingers. Everything's messed up. I don't know what's going on anymore. And now my knee gives out too. My left knee. I have a lot of problems with my knee. Aw, we love you too, Wendy. I hope you had a good day today. I 
I know, Wendy. Ugh, I know it's from my back. Hey, Cindy. I have carpal tunnel. When they did the when they did the nerve testing on me, they told me I had carpal tunnel, and I have some other problems too, but I can't remember what the hell they called them. Yeah, B, I got to stop all the time just to stretch my legs. I get my leg cramps up really bad when I'm driving. I know. Oh, I didn't know you. So you broke your back too, so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't have that option, Praxis. I can't do that. <laughs> Gotta take it easy. Take it easy. Do a couple stretches here and there. Try to walk a little bit more. Thanks. Yeah, my doctor gives me exercises. Like, just stand against the wall. Move my leg this way. Do something, like, to strengthen my back. And I do the exercises, and then it's, then the shit just hurts even more. So it's like, well, what's the point of the damn exercise? You see those? You see that over there? You see all those those hills and the trees and the logs and all that? I'd be climbing all that. That's what I used to do. I used to climb that and check things and and pull out minerals when we went mining. And I can't do any of that crap anymore. Yeah, ibuprofen. That doesn't help. I know, Wendy. I wasn't like a tomboy. I just... I don't know. I was a little more uh, energetic. Had a little bit more muscle to run around and do things. I didn't go down to like 100 pounds. Jay's not really relaxing. I don't know what the heck he's doing. I actually haven't even heard him in a little bit. So I honestly don't even know where he is. <gasps> I know, Cindy. It does suck. It makes me annoyed sometimes. Maybe he did find something super cool. <laughs> nah, I think I would have heard it if he fell in the water. Plus, I hate to say it, but if he fell in the water, he's on his own. There ain't no way I can get down there. I can't get down there. I'd have to call someone to go down there and get him. That's true, Cindy. There are a lot of people that are worse off than us. I think we're all at that at that point, though. I think our all of our pain tolerance must be pretty high. I think you just, I think you just get kind of used to it. Maybe Bigfoot did get him. Oh, I'm sorry, Cindy. That sucks. I'm not a big motorcycle rider, though. 
I miss being able to do the other things. Like dancing. I used to be a dancer. Can't do that anymore. I used to be... I, I used to like go snow tubing in the winter time. Can't do that. Can't go on the water slides. Can't go on that. Can't do this. Can't do that. It stinks. But what else? What are you going to do? Can't do anything. Can't do anything about it. You prefer a big photo over an alien? I used to be able to line dance. Actually, I did line dance a couple times uh, when I was probably in my 20s. Me and my aunt went line dancing a few times. I know, Cindy. Life goes on. Some aliens want peace. Maybe. I take the Aleve. I take Aleve if I have to. I take two Aleve. I was on the pain meds for two years. And I took myself off of them. I said, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't want to live like that. If another moderator took care of that, then why is it not coming up? I don't understand. YouTube wants to play games today, I see. That's fine, YouTube. You play games all you want. Yeah, I've used those lidocaine patches on my lower back. Yeah, YouTube's up to something. They're doing something. They're being all kinds of pains in the butts today, I'll tell you. Yeah, Cindy, I got it. I, I definitely know what you're talking about. I was on it, too. Oxycodone. Yeah, it was the same thing I was on. I was supposed to be taking three a day. I was up to like six. And then to go back to one. Yeah, I know what you mean. But that's why I got off of them completely. They got suspended. Ah, never got involved with the, with that, Wendy. They tried to give me that. I told them, no way. Not happening. Yes, yeah, Cindy, I hear ya. I know exactly what you're talking about. It did at first, Bonnie. But then when your body gets some kind of tolerance to it, you got to take more. That's, that's the problem with that. It's not on purpose, Bonnie. It's just because you take, you could take two of them at the same time. If you take two of the pills at the same time, you will get that feeling that she's talking about. It, but it's not like we were doing it on purpose. It just happens that way. But that's that's why a lot of people get addicted to those pills. Yeah, that's right, Wendy. Before you know it, you're eating them like they're candy. They're not good. Oh, yeah, of course, Cindy. Anything to do with uh, Mr. T there? 
They don't they don't wanna they don't want us to say anything. Definitely not rallies, that's for sure. I never had a problem with that, Bonnie. I was prescribed that for years. I only take it when I panic attacks. Never depended on it or anything. I could take that or leave it. I'd rather just just smoke the just smoke weed. That's it. You go to the you go to the dispensary. You find that specific strain that's for pain, and it actually helps a lot. Really? They overdosed on it? Yeah. Only 1%. I know a lot of people that got hooked on pills. They got hooked on pills and then unfortunately they went on to other bigger things. Alright, so... I want a number in the chat. Oh, there you are. How many you think I found extra? How many more you think I found? Wet. Yeah, Bonnie, gummies are good too. All right, they got B all said that. 17. No. Modest, modest numbers. Yeah, gabapentine is crap, Wendy. You definitely want to get off of that. <clears throat> B says eight. <gasps> Wendy says 43. Jesus. Our neighbor went out in a body bag a few months back due to a drug overdose. So horrible. He was in his 40s. Aw, oh, Cindy, that's sad. Don't do drugs. Cindy says, any more shark teeth? Uh, I got four more. This one's broken. These three right here. This one's half a tooth. This guy. And this one's a full tooth. This one's missing its tip. But... This was a tooth at one point. It is uh, now just a stub. That guy would need a dentist. Same in here. Half a tooth. So, there we are. That's cool. And a couple other little cryonoid things, whatever they are. I don't know. But we have shark teeth from the fossil spot that I was trying to get shark teeth at. So, missing successful. It's now getting late. Yeah. And so I'm getting hungry. We're gonna walk you guys out before we go uh, get back to the ride here. Dun, 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 dun. Hey Jay, Hi, it's Wendy's birthday today. Happy birthday, Wendy. Remember I said to you yesterday, yeah. I feel like someone's birthday's on May 5th? Yeah. Well, it is, it's Wendy's birthday. Oh, well happy birthday, Wendy. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. I played her a happy birthday song. Nice. And I can't get in trouble for it because it's not Uncopyrighted? No, it's not. My hands are not working because the water was cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I spent a little bit too much time in here. All right, guys. We're going to walk back out. We have shark teeth in this little cellophane for uh, our visit here. A little souvenir. And I'm sure the next time I come back will be with Joey. And I'll probably bring like 10 sifters. And a machine that sifts for me and whatever else. But we were just on the way home. I brought what I had. Which Wendy was says not thank you, Joy. Anytime. <laughs> gotta share birthdays with our family, you know? Yeah, you guys gotta let us know when your birthdays are, though. So we could do happy birthday songs. I didn't know until everyone started saying happy birthday to Wendy. Right? My hands aren't working. All right. Well, that water was cold enough for me. I don't like gabapentine. That stuff is crap. Yeah, that's a good idea, Wendy. You should definitely wean off of that. I think you'll be all right as long as you wean down onto a lower dose and then to another lower dose. Don't just stop that cold turkey. That's not good to do. It's the only way we can get off this crap. We gotta wean it down.
Alright, I made it without falling. Okay, so let's fill up this backpack with fossils now. Fossils. We sure do have a whole heck of a lot of them, though. You yep. did, B. You did cold now. turkey. Well, you're lucky. A lot of people can't do it. Oh, what the heck? It also depends on how long you're on the medication for, too. Depending on how long you've been on it for. I get some of these fossilized fossils behind you here. I'm a tough, bad monkey. <laughs> You're funny, B. What? Oh, that was my Pepsi. We gotta bring drinks for Jim. I gotta bring drinks for me. Gotta have my sodas. Them. What? Then we don't drink them. And I don't drink it. But it's there just in case I want in it. In case, you gotta have something. No vending machines in the forest, so. Loading up our, our prizes here. Fossil collecting today. Yeah, it's going to be hard, Wendy. It's, it's hard to get off the things that help with the pain. Well, we all can. Just have to try. Anybody can do it. You can wean yourself off of anything. You just got to be strong. Says so the guy with the smoke hanging out of his mouth. Hey, listen. <laughs> I'm just joking. What happened to Doralis? How come I don't see her any see them anymore? Oops. Doralis. Cause I'm back? I don't know what's oh, for man, I got this stuff all dirty. Might as well just keep it. I don't know what's dirty. for dinner. I'm gonna go figure it no out. No idea. We'll cook something because we can't afford to buy anything right now. We gotta definitely start heading out of here, babe. Okay. Because it's gonna start raining. Can you take this then? Because it's late. Yep. You wanna say bye to everybody? Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Thanks for hanging out. We love you. Got some fossils. I'll see you in a little while. We might come back on. We'll see. Till next time. Love you guys. <laughs>